Good afternoon, Abigail. What is that? A box. Where was that? On your patio. Well, it looks like my eyes getting a little better from yesterday's video. Every morning I make a ton of phone calls, trading stocks, and setting up my week and my agenda on my desk. Blaze, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? Well, if you didn't check out the last vlog, uh, you have to. Organize my desk a little bit. We got a pokey live tonight. I was on the phone with my Pokemon business partner, Adam, and we were discussing inventory that we had to purchase for our upcoming streams. She literally is hogging the whole chair. I can't even sit my bum all the way on it. Look, look at the way she's looking, it's golden. Look how much, she's so cute. I gotta say, I really love my bathroom. I love the, I love the tiling. Just damn, I wish I wasn't renting. I cannot wait to own property. I cannot wait to own real estate. That content is gonna be off the charts. I can promise you that. Good thing I have a whole 10 years in my 20s to figure out this little real estate game. All right, let's get a move on today. I actually low-key have to do my laundry because I just got back from the trip, but uh, it's looking good though. Going to get some breakfast after my day of planning in the morning right now. Yo, not only do I need a hat, but I also need a haircut. Have a good day, kitty. It's like slightly warm outside, but sort of not really, but Sort of, I don't know, I, I might take off the jacket. I might, I'm, I'm gonna have to tough it out because it's not that cold, but I just might be feeling that Bahama tropics weather. 20 degree difference is killing me right now. <laughs> the tropics Bahama weather, I miss it. Yo, only in New York does a geese block the road. A goose, geese, whatever the hell you are. Both of you, all of you. I swear, you barely have to take this thing out of comfort mode, really, at all. I just throw on the exhaust button, and it is the smoothest, best drive ever. And the car automatically lowers when you get to a certain mileage. Luckily, though, if I want to raise that, because sometimes that is a little annoying, I can go ahead and just raise and lower the vehicle. I love this car and I want to do some more videos like track content and I want to do things like exploring other cars with other people and racing them and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys want to collab with any car content creators or you know send them my way. Let them know I'm trying to collab yo. Send them a DM at Blazner. He's trying to collab. You're Look at these rare snacks that they have. Mixed fruit and this other one. Wow, these are really dope. Let me know if you guys want me to sell some of these on my website, become like an exotic food plug because I swear I've never found these other than here. And they have the Arnold Palmer. All right, let's go. Oh boy, check that out. <laughs> Thank you. And every day it does not change I have to edit which is really crazy because Abby I mean I was posting three times a week for way too long and then I said screw it we're going daily and I can't thank y'all enough for all the love and support especially because you guys have been showing so much love to the daily gang so thank you we really appreciate it the grind I'm working guys just as long as you hit that like button please do the extra mile for me just hit that like button down there that would mean the world to me. Thank you, guys. My graphics team meets in an hour, so I actually have to provide some comments on a few pieces of merchandise before they meet. So before I edit, I have to do that. That, guys, is the true behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm eating directly out. She literally just sits here and watches me edit on the computer. It's the cutest thing. Abby got me this apple fritter. Oh my god. Back when I was collecting sneakers, colorways like these LeBrons right here 
were all of the rage. Like we are talking significant pairs, significant pricing, two to three thousand dollars per player exclusive pair and sample colorway. Shoes that go for thousands of dollars definitely are not going to be going for that price once they general release. And this right here was the LeBron that everybody picked for the best LeBron. I have to respectfully disagree. All right, this is my little sneaker cubby. And I don't really go in here too much, but I gotta show you what the best LeBron is. All right, it's gonna be this right here. This might have been the only pair of LeBrons I would have ever been okay with them re-releasing because I've tried to get them so many times to no avail. Never got them. They were going for like 500, 600 bucks a couple years ago. I would say these red carpets are probably my favorite LeBron, even though they're not like one of the most crazy hyped just a classic y'all don't even know the pairs i'm stashing back here i mean what do we got in here we got some lebron 10 denims in here listen i'm a lebron guy i grew up on the lebron 7 through 10 that's like the golden era i remember when i got these right here this right here changed the game for me let's see if i even have them the lebron 9 south beach come on come on what where where's the lebron that's topping that tell me for today's vlog, we have a sponsored package from a company known as YJack. YJack is an apparel company that creates exclusive products with a special cotton they manufacture called Exfina. So let's check out this packaging right here. Whoa, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous box. YJack creates basics for men and women. Their Xfina cotton is an extra long staple cotton yarn, which is the highest grade yarn with only 8% of the world's manufacturing using it. And because of this fabric, this shirt is unbelievably soft with incredible quality. When you're rocking a shirt, the most important thing about the basics is all about quality. And I'm telling you, YJack has nailed the most perfect quality shirt I think I've ever touched. Hey, let's do a quick change out. Wow, this is really comfortable, and I gotta say, I absolutely love the fitment. And look at this bag. Right here we have a little pouch featuring their cotton as well. What a warm welcome from the YJack family, because guys, I'm not leaving the house without one of these shirts on underneath it anymore. Oh, y'all know I've been rocking the navy in the videos. And check out this dope packaging, genuinely crafted. If you guys wanna shop any of these products, I'm gonna have a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. YJack has done a phenomenal job in creating the most comfortable t-shirt I've ever put on my body, so I'm telling y'all, go check them out. Link in the description below to shop all their products for men and women. I'm definitely gonna be incorporating these pieces into my daily rotation. Once again, YJack, y'all made a fantastic very comfortable and breathable shirt. Everybody needs basic essential tees in their collection and I'm so glad I got this. I'm definitely gonna be picking up a couple more with my code Blazendary. So I was just doing some work downstairs and I finally got my little package that I've been waiting on. So the package that I got guys is a brand new vlog camera. I love this big vlog camera, but when I tell you, sometimes it gets a little too crazy to carry around and you need something portable. My new package. Hope this is it. Before I can even open this, I have so much other mail. Gosh, Amazon is too quick with it, man. Please, is this? Yes! This is it. The ZV1. I am more of a Canon guy, but Sony, I had a Google, you know, a vlog camera. Just, I've been using a G7X for a while. What's a G7X? This is a Canon G7X. The, the vlogs have been filmed primarily on this the last couple of days. Hello, Inceptional Filming. Sometimes I like to make a little switch up and uh, change up the gear. In fact, I mean, I have all types of gear all over my house. So I'm gonna show you guys those cameras. Uh, but let's check out this little guy. Oh, wow. Oh, side screen? Side screen. Huh. Let's see, do they give you any battery? Oh, this is a different kind of battery. I gotta order a new one. Oh, and they give you a wind mic? I always get laughs when I tell people it's a dead cat. It's really the name of it in the in the film industry. It's called a dead cat microphone. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Uh, we need a memory card, but it's probably a good time to tell you about the other cameras before we do a test of this one. Now, currently to make these vlogs, I'm using a couple different tools such as a GoPro, an extra Canon EOS R, oh, my actual main baby, my main squeeze, my Canon EOS R, a couple extra iPhones, and one of them actually has a little 
broken lens right there. I dropped it while filming something. And you guys can get a fire case on blazingdairy.com, so don't sleep on that. Now we're gonna have this new guy into the rotation. As you guys can see, I use a couple other cameras to do some other different things like live streaming, but we can cover my camera gear in a separate video. This is literally everything I bring with me in a backpack, maybe minus this right here. Some extra lights, of course, and chargers. This camera right here, the G7X. Let's try out this new guy. Pretty curious to see what it's gonna be like. Nice big record button. Power, power. Power, power, power. Dude, where's the power button? All right, I genuinely cannot find this power button. Would you take a look at that? The windscreen was covering it. That's not a convenient place for a power button, but okay, well, now that we know it's there. May the fourth be with you all. Oh boy. Don't be fooled, I'm using the other camera right now because I'm ordering the charger. Need some batteries for the new camera. Let's make some quick cereal before this stream happens. Today was another one of those office days. Had some meetings on the phone, like three different Zoom calls. So we're gonna be going out into the city a lot more the more I kind of get with the program of the vlogs. Hope you guys have been enjoying so far and leaving a like, commenting down below, subscribing, turning on your post notifications, doing the whole shebang. It really does mean a lot and supports the channel in a way you would not believe. And just being here right now, part of Daily Gang, that's so important. Here's the first test with the camera in low light and I'm already really liking what I'm seeing right now. Here, so we'll take it over to the normal setup. Certainly loving how crispy this looks. So we're gonna use this in, of course, the uh, upcoming videos, but I mean, guys, listen. Travis Scott. Mr. Scott, before you start cranking out new merch left and right, can you please at least ship your existing customers' orders uh, before you make some new stuff? This skate deck actually was so late that they sent me a 10% off coupon code, which I haven't used yet, and it expires within the next, the next year or something. Listen, not even that I'm mad about waiting for a skate deck. I, know, I understand that they're printed on demand here and you wait for your order to come through. That's a sick logo right there. I don't mind waiting for stuff. I understand it's on a uh, print by demand. But it was, like I said, so late, like a year late, that I have been waiting for this. I got a coupon code on their website. For now, though, it'll join my uh, my deck collection underneath my piano here. It's not really official. It's just like a temporary storage. So like I said, we got a minor collection under the piano. Literally nothing crazy. If we go into my Pokemon room, you guys will see the skate deck collection along the wall here. And in addition to that, I've also got a ton of other ones just chilling back here. That's because I genuinely don't really have any space to hang them. And honestly, I don't know if I want my entire house covered in skate decks. When I get the big boy mansion that I have my big goals for, I'm going to go ahead and have a whole room dedicated to it. Just like I bought the camera, now I need to buy some extra batteries. Tonight I am going live on my Pokemon channel, so that is something that I do every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for the most part. If I'm traveling, I might miss a day, but generally those are the three days. And what I do is I open packs on live and I sell them to you guys in the chat. We're opening around maybe a hundred packs a night sometimes and it gets really, really crazy when somebody gets a pull that's worth a couple hundred dollars. We do a lot of giveaways on the channel, so if you guys have a couple hours every night on those days, you gotta go check out the channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to my Pokemon channel. I mean, literally, just how much inventory I'm sharing with this office space is incredible. I have all my Pokemon stuff, my work stuff, hypey stuff, on top of a Supreme collection, and a little filming area. I'm gonna have to be really strategic about my next move and how I'm gonna sort of sort out my house now that I have all this stuff. So right now we are on the Pokemon live stream, opening some packs. We're gonna do this for about two hours. Somebody just pulled a $200 card. Let's go. And we just ended the stream. What a busy night, y'all. Filmmaking is such a methodical process that can really, really get confusing, especially if you don't have good file and organization management. What a headache. All right, so we're gonna do a taste test of the half and half fruit snack. So we got a little bit earlier today. Just opened it for the shot here because I'm you know, recording with one hand. This is the new camera, by the way. It says it's made with real fruit and no preservatives. Decent amount of sugar. Yo, this is busting respectfully. 
All right, so something else about this camera is it has, as you guys can see, a little LED light when you record. That is not the move. All right, you no longer can see the light. Like a lot of other good video creators, you often find other people engraving their stuff. Most camera equipment I own has my name. So my name's gonna go on this one too. Good enough. It is getting a little late. Miguel Maya bought $61 worth of packs and ended up with a pull that is worth $400 plus. All right, and then this person right here went ahead and pulled two cards worth $250 Took 30 minutes. Not that bad. 